Hey everyone, welcome to Nerding IO. I'm JD, and today we're going to be continuing our journey on different features that are incorporated into Chrome as far as what we can leverage with AI. So last time we specifically looked at some experimental APIs for the web. Now what we're going to do today is we're actually going to take a look at the prompt API and see how you can actually integrate it into Chrome extensions. So we're going to run through an example of those. And uh, with that, let's get started. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we are actually going to go into the documentation like we did in the previously uh, video where we looked at translator, language detector, and summarizer. If you haven't watched that video yet, definitely suggest going back. It goes into uh, some detail. So just like before, we know that this has to have a uh, prompt origin trial because the status, uh, at least the at the time of this video, is that for the web, you can only use the early preview program. And for the example that we're going to look at today, we're actually going to look at the web extension. And so you can kind of see this, uh, again, it allows you to define what the uh, extension is. And so first things first, before we actually get uh, our extension idea, we actually have to load in an extension. So we're going to take a look at how to do that. And the first thing is we're going to look at their Chrome extension examples. And if you go down here to functional examples, and the one we're going to look at is on device, this one specifically uses the prompt uh, API. <clears throat> So next, we actually need to manage our extensions. And now that we're in here to manage our extensions, once we download this, so you can actually either just download it or what I did was just do a git clone. So like in cursor, I just pulled this repo down and I'm looking at the code specifically. It is not necessarily the background. This is actually just showing that it's gonna be a side panel but actually look at what's going to happen in this side panel. And so we'll start digging into this code after we get the, the extension set up. So let's go back. Now that we know we've downloaded it, whether that's a Git clone or you actually download it through here, we're actually going to load that into our extension. So first things first, we go to unpacked. I've already loaded this in previously, so it's going to default to where I'm trying to get to. But wherever you saved your folder, go into your samples, your functional samples, Gemini on device. It's the entire package here. So we're just going to select everything. Great. It's already on. We can go pin it if we want. So that way we can easily access it. Let's take a look. Well, we have an error. And why do we have an error? Well, we have an error because we have not signed up for the, um, the, the, the prompt API in our uh, origin trial. So let's go through that. Again, first things we want to make sure we have is the experimental uh, API setup. So we've got this enabled. And then we are going to go ahead and um, submit a new origin uh, trial. So got to follow the instructions, right? So we know we're going to use a Chrome extension this time. So we're going to come in here and we're going to register it. And now we need to get our Chrome ID. And so we can grab it right here. We're going to take that. We're going to put it back into our origin. We're just going to say, I need a token. We expect zero to 10,000 and agree to the terms. Real quick, everyone, if you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps more than you know. It's actually a great segue for today's sponsor, Text Yourself. It's an SMS app where all you have to do is text a phone number, something that you want to remember, and it will schedule an event to text you back to remind you. It was actually built with the boilerplate that we just released for Firebase called the Firebase Start Kit. With that, let's get back to nerding. So now that we have this token, we're going to go back to our project and we're actually going to look at a couple of different things that we need to do. 
So first and foremost, we actually have to go to this manifest and we have to put in our trial token right here. Our, uh, there, we're gonna be using this key just as the default key, but this is the, the token that we just set up. We can see that we are gonna be using a side panel and then the rest is just a normal uh, Chrome extension config. The next thing that we're gonna do is we are actually gonna go ahead and install any packages that we need. And we'll take a quick look at the code just to understand a little bit about what it is. And uh, you can see it's fairly simple. We're just taking in a prompt. We're taking in an input. We have some sliders here for the temperature so that we can know what's going on as well as the top K. And then in the index file, we actually have a couple of different things. So we have our initial uh, defaults. So we're actually seeing, do we have the AI origin trial? We're actually seeing what our language capabilities are. And then we're configuring what our prompt values are right here uh, through the slider. If we then scroll down and we look at the input, this is gonna allow us to be able to click and run. And all this is doing is in the run button, it is allowing us to uh, send our parameters that we've been picking up. So again, you have a system prompt that you can define. And then we are going to actually send our prompt. So what this is doing is it's looking to see if there's an active session. If there's not, it's going to take and create a session based on our parameters to this open uh, AI. Again, this is just the, the trial and, and define what our language model is. And then we're actually gonna just chain and actually have a prompt based on that session and get a result. So in order to see this working in action, what we need to do is actually do an NPM build, uh, NPM run build. And then we're actually just gonna go and remove our old manifest uh, or old project because we actually wanna use that dist folder. So we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to look in the on Gemini or Gemini on device. We're going to click the dist. We're going to load this. And now what we should be able to do is actually try this out. So we're going to pin this and we're going to say, tell me a joke. And you can actually see we didn't get any errors, right? Because you would have seen an error that says, uh, we don't have access to that model, but we do. So tell me a joke about AI in the Chrome browser. Go ahead and click run. And actually try and see if there's anything happening in the DOM. So we can actually see here, we've got our readily. And cool, now we actually have our joke. Why did Chrome AI get fired from the pizza jo delivery job? Tried to make it recommendations on topping. See, never put pineapple on pizza. It's terrible. Uh, but this is like a great example of a really awesome, simple Chrome extension that you can actually use a prompt going directly to Gemini. They have some other use cases. And if you watched the uh, Web AI Summit, I thought this one was really cool. You can actually develop a Chrome extension that would take calendar events and uh, basically copy that, that text and actually put it directly into Google Calendar. You can think about that because if you have free text, uh, it, it's usually difficult to figure out how to put that into the, the calendar API. So they're all kind of different, but with this, you could you can actually just use free text, tell Gemini to actually take those Chrome or take the calendar events and actually directly put it in from different things, specifically on web pages or uh, actually uh, just do it yourself. So th this is, there's also like a different, a bunch of different things where you could do like content extraction and, and again, different like 
Chrome extensions out of the box. Soon they'll have the uh, web version of this, and you can imagine just having the ability to use a prompt directly in the browser on the web. It's going to be huge, hugely powerful. All right, everyone, that's it for us today. We went through how to actually use the prompt API specifically in a Chrome extension and get all of that set up so that we can actually leverage uh, prompting and through the example that they have on their GitHub. With that, happy nerding.